Lord, you are the light of the world. The light that comes to illumine the darkness of our own hearts, the darkness of our way of thinking, of our way of feeling, and our way of acting that are not in accord with the gospel. Light should triumph, Lord, but for that, we need to, above all, present before your presence our own darkness. Know them, know the shadows that have changed, transformed our way of thinking, of feeling and acting. We have to know how to recognize with a keen discernment where is the spirit of light and where is the spirit of darkness. And to be able to recognize the light, we must in prayer reflect, listen to your word. St. John tells us that the word was the light that illumines every single person. In your word, we find the lamp that illumines the path of human life, that illumines our behavior, our true behavior of the children of God, that illumines our path until we get to heaven. But the one that does not want to change, the one that does not authentically seek conversion, is bothered by the light. That's why we see in our world today a confront, open confrontation between the light and the darkness, between evil against good. Lord, fill us with your light and that we may allow ourselves to be filled by your light so that for us to cooperate with you in being a light of the world, in conquering the darkness with the light of a coherent life, a life of holiness. Light must triumph. Help us to be cooperators of that triumph witnesses of the light. Help us to be a light that is lit. <laughs>